Jennifer. 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 <laughs> Who said that? Oh, my plates. That pattern was terrible anyway. What is going on? You betrayed me, Jennifer. Mom? I, I thought you were dead. I'm haunting you. <laughs> See? Uh, why are you doing this? What did I do wrong? Look no further than what you're doing right now. Um, making carrot cake? With only one cup of sugar? And no walnuts? Um, the grandkids are coming over for family dinner tonight. They like it how their mother makes it. Less sugar and allergy safe with their friends. Ugh. You're letting your daughter-in-law ruin the family recipe? What's next? Are you going to replace the canola oil with avocado oil? Mmm, how would that taste? Don't get any ideas. <laughs> oh, the sink. How do I turn this thing off? Forget the sink. Look at your grandmother when she is speaking to you. Grandma, you're here too? <laughs> Did any of our family get into heaven? How is my spirit supposed to rest when you're creating unfinished business in this kitchen? Is it true that you add cream to my bolognese sauce recipe? Yes, it makes the flavor richer and the meat tender. <gasps> <laughs> That's preposterous. When I make my bolognese sauce... <laughs> don't turn on the mixer while I'm speaking to you. That's it. I'm shutting off the electricity. I need to make the frosting for the cake. Uh, are we all haunting Jennifer today? Mother, did you have to ruin that gravy boat? I got it as a wedding present. Great, Grandma. Sorry, I can't see in the dark. Who cut the lights? Forget the lights. I'm more worried about the hole you just put through my roof. Just think of it as your little old great granny adding some ceiling spice to the frosting, eh? <laughs> I don't recall my frosting recipe containing asbestos. There's asbestos in my ceiling? Oh, lighten up, Elizabeth. At least your recipes still get made. My cranberry surprise hasn't been made in ages. Oh, sorry, great grandma. But the surprise was mayonnaise. It was actually pretty gross. I never cared for it. Mayonnaise goes with everything! <laughs> I'll fill your lungs with it! <laughs> whoa, whoa. No, let's not get carried away here. Oh, it's not that kind of haunting. My bad. Look, I know it's upsetting that we're changing the family traditions, but we're trying to honor them by adapting them and keeping them going. <laughs> uh, the kids are running late to dinner. They're going to bring a roast chicken from the store. The, the what? From the where? What happened? Why did the machine stop running? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm working on it right now. Raccoons may have gotten into the belts for the cornered flakes machine again. Well, get it fixed. These machines need to be churning out a constant flow of cereal flakes at all times. I didn't spend all my money to buy a non-working cereal factory. I'll get one of the children to climb into the machines to clean out the belts. No problem. Harry! Yes, sir? Grab your raccoon scraper and get under the conveyor. We need to clear out every bit of raccoon that may have gotten tangled up in there. No, I'm on it. You can count on me. How long till production can start again? Oh, Harry's my top raccoon guy. Give him uh, 20 minutes, but what's the hurry? It's just cornered flake cereal. The hurry? Do you not understand what we do here? The very foundation of this nation is under constant threat of collapse. I thought we were just making corn-flavored cereal flakes. It's actually on the sign up there. In all honesty, it's weird that corn is even a flavor that anyone ever wants. Flavor is not required. The flakes that we produce are important to maintaining the moral fiber of every American. A flavorful taste would be sinful. I guess I'm still not understanding. Isn't this just a corned flake cereal for breakfast eaten? 
This is more than just food. These flakes are important for the betterment of all mankind. A bowl every morning can maintain a healthy intestinal flora. Intestinal water? Women can enjoy these flakes to keep their womb from wandering too far. Why, without these flakes, women's wombs are liable to just fall right out of their bodies. Where would we be then? Uh, I, uh, hey, Harry, uh, how's the raccoon situation coming along? Oh, they're packed in here something good, boss. <laughs> like a whole family of them. Almost done, though. Most importantly, will it stop the savage practice of masturbation? Oh, uh, that's a problem? Yes, one of the worst. Man's beastly predilection of onanism and alcohol could be the downfall of us all. Alcohol is bad for you, too? <laughs> I don't know. I'd handle my 15-hour factory shifts without my daily bottle of hooch. We're going to have to put a stop to that now that I'm in charge of this factory. Only temperance combined with the corned flakes can we save the American way of life. Yeah, looking forward to it. Hey, Harry! <laughs> I'm done, boss. There, there was one live raccoon in there that scratched me up pretty good. But, but I run him off. He won't, he won't be coming back around here no more. <laughs> good job, Harry. Hey, why don't you go back to my office and get yourself a slug of that whiskey I keep in my desk? Oh, I'm going to need that. I really don't think you should be letting the child drink alcohol. <laughs> He's not going to be a child for much longer. He did just turn 11 this week. Well, I guess as long as he is an adult, he can make those decisions for himself. <laughs> and besides, he's got to shift at the coal mine an hour. No one should have to do that job sober. Fine. Let's get this machine started up again. Sure thing. Here we go, boys. Good. Now, if you excuse me, I have to get to work on our new product. Shredded wheat balls to combat those deviant foot fetish urges. Eat the wheat, not the feet. Hi, everyone. Thanks for listening to the Cold Sound Theater podcast. We enjoy making internationally renowned sketch comedy for you. Please show us some love by following us on our social media, Twitter at Cold Sound Pod, Instagram at Cold Sound Podcast. We'll be your best friend. Okay, Janine, I did your father a solid getting you in here as a 911 operator. This job's main perk is invaluable. The gift of saving people's lives. Winner, winner, chicky, chicky, din, din, sinners, baby. Gen Z sure is full of life. Oh, I think we got your first call. I'll be here if you need me. What can I do you for? Uh, is this 911? Mm, that's a bad start. You called the right number, dingus. I have an emergency. My partner had a heart attack. Uh, he saw this rabid raccoon just like running around and it, it scared him. Let's see. Janine. He, he's passed out on the floor. Are you sure he's not like love bombing you? I saw something about this on a Jezebel article. Forgot to finish it though. So I don't know what it means. It, he needs medical attention like right now. So uh, what are we all doing outside? I, I need EMS now. You know, most heart attacks happen in the throes of passion. Are you being serious? This one time in college, I got stuck in an elevator on Halloween with a cow and a big pair of walking truck nuts. We had a three-way. I need help. I just like to tell that story because it's good to keep your options open. I'm always swiping left or right. I, I can't remember. <laughs> Fuck this. Rude. That was really not good. I need you to be a little bit more personable, Janine. We need to get to the source of the problem quickly. Your dad is on the admissions board for the competitive squash ball league. I'm dying to sink my hands into. I'd like to report back to him that you did a great job. Got it, got it, got it. Super fast. <clears throat> what up, fam? Wrong. Oh, thank God. I need help. My son Clayton has been bitten by a raccoon. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me about the relationship with your father. I'm so scared. I What? Is it like Raven or like? Not so, Raven. Did, did you not hear me? My son has been bitten by a raccoon. Oof. You have to take out the queen. It's like that movie, the one with the aliens. Why are we talking about alien? Pretty sure it's Selena. Okay, that one felt racist. 
Can I have to talk to HR about this one? I need help now. It's also kind of crazy that Pocahontas never got bit, you know? She's always, like, always hanging around these critters. Oh, no, Clayton! Clayton! He's going into shock! One time I got toxic shock syndrome from leaving a tampon in for a whole week. I know they say it's nature's pocket, but <laughs> this pocket turned into a junk drawer, if you know what I'm saying. Clayton! Clayton! No! Okay. We'll just have to hope that one of our other operators gets back to that one. Janine, that was too personal. We need to get to all of their information as fast as possible just so we can send help. Lives are on the line. Also, please answer the phone just a little bit more professionally. Copy that, governor. I don't like where this is going. Hello, this is Miss Featherbottom of the highest emergency order. No English accents. May I please have your social security number, blood type, and if you have any Aquarius in your birth chart. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I need an ambulance right away. My neighbor and her son have both been attacked by raccoons. I think she's bleeding out. Oh my god, was it Cocaine Cody? Who? Cocaine Cody, the coked up neighborhood trash panda I always see scrounging around. Are you on drugs? One time I was at a party all hopped up on God knows what, and I started coming around after my third round of special cookies I found on a toile platter in one of the bathrooms. I thought, Janine, should I eat these toilet cookies? But I did, and they were delicious. And oh my God, I just realized toile platter sounds like toilet paper. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'm losing their pulse. <laughs> so bushy. The moral of the story is when the haze faded, I realized I was in a juggalo house, an actual trailer clown juggalo house. Oh God, it's attacking me now. Help, help, help. Janine, you're fired. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> Looks like my daddy's going to have to squash these balls. Deuce to this caboose. No. I got to go feed my neighborhood trash pandas cocaine stuff croissants. But squash ball is my passion. And you shouldn't be feeding those animals those drugs anyways. 911, how can I help? Listen to me. Don't walk. Run away from those raccoons. Run for your life. The war on drugs is gone nocturnal. It's probably going to need sway. I know you're mounting it, but it still needs to be flexible. Also, please be careful with the and one sign. It's a one of a kind. (laughs) Adeline, can you do something? We aren't going to be able to get these installs done unless we can actually install them. Of course, Miss Waterford, we're really too far behind deadline to be doing all this. The manager said he just wanted to replace the sign and install a hot dog roller to 7-Eleven, not revamp the whole store. Experience, Lil Slurp. We are revamping the whole experience. And please stop calling me that name. When I'm in this creative space, you must call me Big Gulp. And I've consistently insisted that I very much like you to call me Kathleen. You need to embrace this space, Lil Slurp. Welcome it to your spirit's living room and serve a chamomile tea. Invite it into the back bedroom of your soul and ask it to remove its shirt. You need to embrace this budget. Mr. Swanson told us we had three days to change out the signage and install the appliance. We did install the appliance. Did you not see the tanning bed in the bathroom? Tanning bed? Like for the hot dogs? I'm not understanding. We had to sacrifice the condom machines, but who uses condoms anyways? This is a convenience store. What's more convenient than a quick tan? A condom machine? Chris Tall, please be careful with those Mad Dog 2020. They are vintage. I'm sorry, darling, but this electric watermelon absolutely caught my eye. Please tell me he's just a deliverer. A deliverer of knowledge. Watch. What can you tell me about this natural light? Mmm... Affectionately known as America's Afterbirth, this lowly lager has bold notes of piss with a familiar finish of failure. From the St. Louis region of Missouri, this swill is begrudgingly dubbed Last Chance by fraternity brothers across the country. No one said you could hire staff. We cannot afford a full-time beer course sommelier. Sahab. Oh, my divine spirit. Yes, Devin. Yes. Is that the blue Jan sport we decided on? Uh, yes. Who is this? Yes, 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 yes. You are going to be the premier backpack model that will launch our whole outdoor line. The what? Ms. Worthy, big gulp. 
We can't have a backpack model because we can't have an outdoor line. Sorry, Devin. That's cool. Grab a Slurpee and a scratcher for your troubles. The signage, the tanning bed, the staff. We can't do any of this. Mr. Swanson's gonna lose his shit. And when he does lose his shit, he can do so on the store's luxury bidet while staring at the new tanning bed. Isn't this wonderful, Prudence? A post office? Who would have thought such a thing? And we'll be able to communicate with anyone? Oh yes, Edith. It's an amazing time we live in. I get correspondence from all over the world. Thank you for coming with me to pick up my packages. Oh, thank you for inviting me. I'm so looking forward to mailing my grandmother this apple. Yes, but you really should have wrapped it. Wrapped it? Well, yes, just to protect it on its journey. And then they put postage on it. Postage? I'm glad you're here with me to show me these things. Oh, we're next in line. Next? Yes, my friend here would like to mail something. (laughs) Yes, this apple to my granny in Boston. Oh, sure, it'll be a nickel. Uh, Would you like to lick the stamp? Uh, uh, Yes. Yes, she would. Give it a lick, Edith. Like this. Wonderful. Oh, such technique. My tongue feels numb. Uh, That's just the arsenic they use to make the adhesive. It'll wear off in a few minutes. So, anything else? Yes. I need packages for Prudence Fitzgerald. Yes, I do have a few things for you. Here's a letter, all the way from California. Who is it from? Oh, just a cousin, going on about hunting for gold in the California wilds. That'll never amount to anything. And here's another, marked Fragile. Oh, I've been dying on waiting for this one. Direct from inventor Joseph Mortimer Granville, I present his treatment for hysteria. (laughs) Is that what I think it is? Although I've never seen one up close. I'd say that looks like a male member. Yes, yes it is. No need to get the husband involved. Mama can have her own fun. <laughs> but, but you say you've never seen one up close? But you have 13 children. Yes, but never in the Lord's light. Richard says that me actually seeing it would make me a... He always turns all the lights out when it's time to do the business, but I've managed to catch a glimpse of it from time to time. Dreadful. I got a copy of the inventor's address for you. We need to get you sorted out. Wink, wink. Uh, There is one more. I will miss having this one around as we have been using it in the building for uh, tasks. Uh... Hello. Uh, It talks. (laughs) That looks like a little orphan boy. Finally, it's a new member of my household staff, direct from my uncle in England, so he is of utmost quality. Oh, he's also a chimney swoop as well, Mum. Well, that just pays for itself right there. Yes, I have been trying to cut down on household expenses, but I couldn't resist when my uncle said he was available for free if I covered shipping costs. Slips in a box, I did. Became king of the ship rats, too. You must let me help you name him. Certainly. Now come along. We need to get you to work. Thank you for bringing me along with you, Prudence. I've learned so much. Now I can't wait till I can start getting such wonderful things through the mail. Come, orphan boy. Pip, pip, mum. As long as I don't have to go back in that box. 